Yeah. Why, why did you decide that was your last pro show then? Was it because um, did you realize that in seeing Wani and Flex, did you realize yeah. these are the elites um, and you can never sort of be that yeah. level? Yeah. So, um, so you trained there from '95 when you came back, and did you have a training partner? I mean, did you sort of pick a show? What, what happened? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I remember coming. Oh, I think I was about twelve stone two. I remember I was about twelve stone two. What well, coming back from America? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, the food wasn't that great, so. Si. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yeah, the, 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 fill, the fill in the blanks, that's easy enough to do. Okay. Um, so, yeah, um, it was a real luxury to open my fridge to go shopping and buy chicken breast, yeah, yeah, to yeah. buy water, to buy vegetables, to eat like the the way a bodybuilder would eat on a diet. That was all dead easy for me. That was like easy peasy. And so it made it really easy. It was because I, I, began, I really appreciated Definitely, yeah. Being able yeah. to go to the gym at a certain time, do my cardio at a certain time, yeah, yeah, and, and live, live, just live, you know, mm -hmm. and make my choices there, and yeah. So, I, I. Did you want to just explain to people what the gym was like there, where you trained hardcore? Hi, um, it was a great gym. It, uh, it was like just guys that, that trained at the gym. It was a, above a wee baker shop in Whitburn on the main street. Mm. Um. You wouldn't know it was a gym unless my, my pals, if I hadn't met my pals in a nightclub, I wouldn't have known about it. And you just walk up the wee creaky wooden floors, I mean, literally really creaky wooden floors, and uh, then there's a gym there. It wasn't that big. It was maybe uh, the size of three living rooms and three kitchens, maybe. Um, I mean, um, I don't was it, Did it have a lot of good sort of hardcore bodybuilders training there? Yeah, weights, weight, just lots of weight. Um, aye, the guys, aye. No, the guys that didn't really have lots of hardcore bodybuilders, no. No, um, I mean, the, the guys were pretty hardcore, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they, they gave me nothing but encouragement, so I, they, they just, I got so much encouragement at, at that gym, uh, especially the gym owner, Scott Ralston. Um, he, he was my biggest encourager, really. Yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. Just everybody inspired me back then and, and and pushed me and yeah yeah. So yeah. how did you how did you sort of um, adapt training from somewhere like Gold's Gym, the mecca of bodybuilding in sunny mm. Los Angeles, then coming Aye. back to Scotland training in a Aye. small small bodybuilding hardcore gym? I, I just it was great because there, there was a bit in between uh, being over in America and yeah. coming back to Scotland, so it was great just to go into a gym yeah. with weights, with, with loads of weight. Hmm. Uh, I remember before the Miss of Scotland that year, I don't know how I did this, but in twelve weeks I had twelve, I had six months to get ready for the Miss of Scotland that year, and I took three months to bulk, so I went hmm. from twelve stone two to fifteen stone two, hmm. and then I had three months to cut. Mm. 12 just over 12 weeks really so yeah. and I, I came down to 13 and a half cut to, to take the overall to Scottish okay. and I remember during that time I was squatting 285 kilo for 10 deep that's, so that's, that's, the that's, lads, that's good that's good uh, yeah, yeah. six plus uh, something else in a collar uh, was it two and a half so I, I can't remember and uh, yeah it was yeah it was a lot of weight a lot yeah of weight. yeah is that um? How, is that how you built your legs? You got you got tremendous legs. I mean, you. you I, I, it's probably one of your strongest body I, parts. Your legs. Yeah, I think that's how my legs came up. So I, I think the, the guys used to like when I was going from a real, real heavy set. The guys used to just crowd in and, and shout me on. Mm. And uh, and I remember I got a wee ping at the top of my quad one time, just a wee ping. It wasn't yeah. a big tear or anything. It was just a wee ping. Yeah. And I decided Lord. no more ego stuff. Mm. No more. I think I began leg pressing after that sign. I've done yeah. leg pressing pretty much ever since, but heavy, you know, real yeah. heavy, as heavy as I could go. I remember yeah. one of my friends said, Steve, Steve, the way you 
their leg press for your legs. He said, that's that's life or death stuff. He said, that's mm -hmm. heart attack. I think he used the word heart attack. Mm -hmm. He said, that's heart attack stuff. I was like, mm. I thought, well, that's a compliment. Oh, thanks. Did well, you did you train that way in uh, in America? That same with that same intensity? No, no, um, no. I trained hard in America. Yeah, yeah, I trained really hard, but, but but not like when I because like you know you know like the, the Americans get that stigma and they don't train that hard. They sort of yeah. compared to like us, the, you know, the UK bodybuilders. They sort of take it oh, easy. Oh, I, 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 I might as well just throw this inside. There was. I did squat when I was in America. I done squats, mm. leg press, and that was about it. Leg extensions, that, that was about it, really. But um, I remember uh, Mike when it was, yeah. Nobody squatted in LA back in, nobody. Mm. Everybody leg pressed yeah, and done yeah. leg extensions and all the other stuff, but That's nobody cool. really squatted. Um, why do, 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 do you think that was? Because it was hard. <laughs> or was, was it hard, because... There's more right, risk so. of injury, squatting, and they were. Mm. Um, what's the reason behind it, Sai? I think, but well, I, 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 my reasons, I think, I think maybe similar to my own reasons when I, when I stopped squatting, uh, I remember thinking, okay, if there's a tiny amount of risk that your waist can become wider from squatting, yeah, then I don't really want to take that risk. Mm. And if I can get the same result, from going all out in the leg press yeah. without making my waist any wider, mm -hmm. then I'm going to do. Go do you think? That. Do you think all the heavy years of squatting sort of contributed to your thickening of the waist? Do you think it had some sort of? Uh, mm, actually, I don't think so. It was mm. just at that time I took a, a an assessment and I thought, well, mm. if it, it's possibly true that mm. that could happen, I don't mm. want to take that chance. So. And if I can get just the same amount of size on my legs from no leg pressing, pressing then, yeah. then it was a no-brainer for me just mm. go for the leg press. So maybe the, 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 the Americans knew that before I did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I playing, it, playing it smarter, playing it smarter. Aye, 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 they, they, aye. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah. So, um, so, 95, did you compete in 95 or 96? Yeah, so 95, I <clears throat> uh, uh, prepped. I had six months between getting off the plane um, and landing in Scotland. It was uh, March 11th, 95. And six months later, I took the overall to Scottish. You've got, you uh, got a very good memory of dates. I've noticed. Yeah, well, some, yeah. some dates are really, they stick in your head. Well, you, don't yeah, same with me. I, I, I'm, sort yeah. of, I'm very good with dates. I can aye. remember birthdays and special events. Aye, yeah. contest dates and stuff. Aye, the, yes, the CD. Exactly, yeah. They stick yeah. in there, don't they? Yes. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember saying to one of my, my girlfriends at, at that time, I said, look, 24th of, what was it, April? I think it was the Miss of Britain. And fast forward to 96, I said, don't speak to him about anything after that date. I'm just <laughs> focusing on that yeah, date. Yeah. I don't want to know about anything Drilled after your head, that. that date. So she's like, oh, right, I won't <laughs> talk to him about anything after the, you know, yeah. like, what's your plans or... You know, yeah, so dates are really, yeah, they do stick in your head, side. Si. Yeah, definitely, oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the overall the Scottish that year, yeah, it was the NABBA. That was that was all that was in Scotland back then. It was only NABBA. There was no EFBB, IFBB or anything affiliated, just NABBA. Yeah, yeah. So I remember prepping for my first NABBA, Mr. Britain, and I got a treadmill, an old treadmill. Someone donated it to me. And the handle's falling off it, and I plunked mm. it in my living room. And I watched Graham Black. Uh, I watched mm. Linville Miller, Graham Limble, Black, yes, know, Limble, yeah, yeah. John Armstrong. And I thought, these are the guys I have to beat at the British that year. Mm. I need to beat Linville. I need to beat Graham Black. And I need to beat John Armstrong. So every morning when I'm doing my cardio, I'm watching those three, um, looking at the cuts and looking at the condition and the trophy presentation. I'm like, okay, I need to beat all three of those guys. Um so, yeah, I just, yeah, I went down to Britain in 96 with my first uh, trip to Blackpool. I'd never been to Blackpool before. Was it, was it Southport? And, uh, was it Southport? At Blackpool, it was, Blackpool, it was, Blackpool, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was Blackpool. I'd never okay. been to Blackpool. I'd never, okay. you know, uh, Malcolm Clark was the, the NABA right. rep for Scotland yeah. back then. He said, you've never been to Blackpool, Stephen. I go, no, Malcolm, no, I've never been there. He goes, oh, I thought everybody had been to Blackpool. <laughs> so um, I hadn't. 
um, yeah, it was really special to go down, and I wanted that that title so badly because I think I was going back to when I stood on stage with Ian Atkinson, who had won the middleweights, and Steve yeah. Clark the year before because I'd done yes, the. Yes. So now, but you were class, you were class yeah. three competitor, wasn't you? Ah, uh, that's right. So yeah. I, I, yeah. I. So anyway, you, yeah, 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 yeah. How did you get on? So it worked out well. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I was like, wow, wow, I've done it. I just wanted that title so bad, the Naba Britain, mm. and yeah, yeah. So it was, uh, yeah, it was uh, John Armstrong third, uh, Graham Black second, uh, yeah, and I, yeah, it was. It just blew my mind. That, yeah, I remember going to pray, and my pals wanted to take it. They wanted to go clubbing anyway. You know what comes along with that, and I was like, man, I just want to go to the beach and thank God, thank <laughs> God for. You know, I, I wanted this so bad, yeah, and yeah. I've got, done it. I was like, trying to pinch myself. It's like, wow, I've done it, and it, it feels yeah, it's a real feeling inside when you want something so bad, and yeah, you, you put everything it. into it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what came after that? Then the ninety six uh, Naba. Yeah, universe. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, yeah, I remember. Yeah, uh, that was in Birmingham, wasn't yeah. it? If I remember right. 96 was Birmingham, so yeah, I think yes, it was the ICC, yeah. yeah, might have been two years in a row in Birmingham. I, I, yes, it was there too, a couple of years. I remember, yeah. Right. I think Sean did Sean Davis win it one year, Sean won it one year, and I think was it Eddie? Was it Eddie who took it? 90, Eddie, um, uh, Eddie Elwood, Eddie Elwood, yes, yes. Eddie? yes, it was, yes, yeah. 96, I remember, I think, yeah. Yeah, Eddie got mm, uh, my Eddie place where he placed. I uh, placed third, ninety six. Um, yeah, yeah. So it was just the universe. I skipped the world. I, I didn't want to be Mr. World really. I wanted to win the Mr. Universe after the British. So um, yeah, it was just Mr. Universe. Uh, ninety six. I got third behind a German bodybuilder, Carlo Sick. I think his name was, and Grant Thomas. Uh, no, 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 96. It's Smith and Jones. Okay. The, the, yeah, Ramsford Smith and... Ramsford Billy Smith, Jones. yes. Yeah, the black guy. Yeah, 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 96, yeah, yeah. 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 I competed against him at the... Um, we're talking... It was the 99 Stars of Tomorrow at FBB. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened to him, um, Ramsford. Yeah. He actually came to my gym a few years ago, wanting... Um, right. it, was, it was quite strange, because obviously I seen him compete. He was a very good bodybuilder. Right. And he came to me for some contest prep advice. And he stripped off, and uh, and I'd seen him compete most loads of times, and I, you know, I knew how good he was, and, uh -huh, uh -huh. and he, he had he didn't, didn't have a clue about uh, prepping. It was, it was like I thought he was pulling my leg, and it was just wow. like it was really strange that he come to me. Uh, where he was yeah. obviously a lot better than I was, but it was uh, strange. Right. <laughs> so, so you say inside, even despite you know how high you placed at those shows for all those years, Ramsford. He, yeah, he, he came to me he... and like he, it's like he had no clue what obviously what anabolics to take and he didn't know what, what certain things wow. was. And I was thinking, I thought he was pulling my leg. Yeah. I thought, no, you, you know, you, 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 Mr. Universe, you oh, should know. Aye, aye, aye. It wasn't I remember, I mean, I remember beef, I think I was just like a middleweight, just a competitor. I remember Ramsell was in the mags back then. I was like, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Um, so just well, but when he came to see me, he'd, he'd, he'd probably I don't know if he'd stopped training, but he, he stripped off and he looked like he uh, hadn't trained for about three years. He was just uh, so, uh, um, I, I don't think he made uh, his comeback, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't know where life takes you, don't you? No, you, know, you, you certainly the, the don't. Know. Life, right? Um, mm -hmm. so going forward, you did the 97 um universe again, didn't you? Uh, yeah. So going into that show, who were the main people that you were up against? 97. Well, Grant had um, took the overall, the British that year. I remember I was in the audience watching. Uh, Big Gary took the, Big Gary Lister took the yeah. top class. Yeah. I'm not sure if it was Simon Cohen who Simon took the Cohen, yes. That's class the name two. Yeah, yes, that great bodybuilder just came from pretty much nowhere, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, early 90s, yeah. Uh, Grant was in a class three, another freak, man, from nowhere. Well, from Wales, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah, oh, you yeah. Know, I always wonder what happened nowhere. to Grant because uh, he uh sort of disappeared, didn't he? After he turned to him pro, ah, uh, yeah, aye, aye, aye. 
Do you, do, have you ever yeah. do you ever heard from him, Grant? Not much. I, I don't really mm. know. Um, I'm not sure what, what happened. I mean, the last time I seen Grant, we had done a wee guest spot. Uh, we it was a shop opening uh, down south. Name Crash it was. Charlie Clermont had come oh, along. Charles Clermont, yes. I don't know why Brian Buchanan's name jumped into my head there. Yeah, Charlie Clermont, I, I remember he had retired and he came along and he said to me and Grant that he wasn't in our level anymore. I'm like, what? Uh, he was like an absolute legend, different class from me or, or I think I think Grant as well, maybe, yeah. But my, I think, anyway, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, he was really nice, really humble as well, wasn't he? Really humble. Um, we'd done a shop opening, and the last time I've seen him, I think we had a workout as well down south as well. We had a, it was it was in different days, yeah. So we'd gone to, we had met up twice, but I know he had done his first pro show, he put everything into it's that about one. the champions today. Aye, it's about the champions, yeah. And I'm not sure if he got what he deserved at that show. Mm. I mean, they're not the champions. It's 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 a notoriously big show, and a lot of lot of rookie bodybuilders pros oh. use that show as their sort of first show to do. And um, oh, yeah. so he's oh. up against. I think he did it in ninety six, and or did ninety six ninety seven. Uh, so he would have been up against guys like Ernie Taylor and Chris Cormier. Mm, oh, and Flex, oh, absolutely. Oh, I, I yeah. think real, real. And Grant wasn't that heavy, was he? He was a it was an Light heavyweight bodybuilder, so he was only about 90 odd kilos. Aye, aye, yeah, yeah, it's unbelievable. You think mm. it's like uh, Steve Clark, he used to say about Steve Clark, yeah, because he was, was a middleweight, wasn't well. he? Yeah, yeah, huge. He said, as a middleweight, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he yeah, used to say Steve's got hollow bones, <laughs> uh, yeah, Steve was a yeah, great bodybuilder, great guy. Um, and the same with Grant, I think, although, yeah, yeah, Grant, yeah, yeah. I mean, there was areas of his physique that were light, and yeah. that's all I wanted, you know. That, yeah, that, that good legs, that good legs, good arms. Quads um, were freaky, freaky, freaky quads. Legs, yeah. Crazy, crazy, yeah. I mean, he had some real, real freaky body parts, Grant Thomas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. he's one of the bodybuilders that sort of, in the 90s, he was he was one of the big names, and sort of, as soon as he got that pro card, sort of disappeared. It's a shame, really. Would yeah. he would have been... Good as a two twelve, do you think? He would oh, have been. Aye, he would have qualified as two twelve, wouldn't he? Oh, I, I, I yeah. say. I mean, I, I didn't really. Watch, I've not watched that much of the two twelves, but I've seen mm. uh, a lot of the top guys, and he would have done well. He would have uh, yeah, done he really well. It's, we can only speculate, yeah. can't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because unless you line these bodybuilders exactly, yeah, up on yeah. stage, but he was beating guys that were a lot bigger than him. Um, uh-huh, and, right. Yeah, and he looked much, much, much bigger than guys much that were yeah, yeah. by, by, by several, you know, a lot, mm. a, a, quite a few stone. Yeah, mm. yeah. Oh. So yeah. you got your uh, fast forward. So you got your IFBB Pro card. You got second at the Welsh to I, uh-huh. Eric Hartley. Was it? Am I right? No, it was uh, Eric. Eric, I think placed third, but it was me and Musk, Michael O'Hanlon. Well, Michael O'Hanlon, and, yes, he was uh, from Scotland Musk. as well, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, me and Musk, yeah. Um, that was, yeah, it was a point. Um, yeah. There was a point between, yeah, there was a was point it, between us. They give you the pro card because it was that close. They think, you know I what, I both Paul, deserve it. Paul Grant spoke to me backstage. He says, Steve, I, I don't know where you placed. He, he was running the show and he said, if you don't win, he said, you're both getting pro cards. <laughs> so you must have deserved well, it. I mean, don't get me wrong, because we're competitive. Hmm. Um, win. I wanted to win, it, yeah. but when I think about it now, yeah. I mean, like, look, forget about it. It was a point, you yeah, know, yeah, for one yeah. judge, one of, way, yeah. one of us, hmm. uh, and Grant told me himself he had placed me second at the judging because okay. Grant was a judge. Okay. I was like, ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> I was like, cheers, man. <laughs> Well, you want, you, want know, honestly, don't you? You, want, you want to win on your own merits but rather than to be, own judges. to be fair, Si, I, I need to say this. Muskie was like, he was a, in the shape, he was in the shape, best shape I'd ever seen him in. It, mm. His cheekbones were like jumping out. Yeah. And I went in, I was a little bit arrogant. I, mm. I was a little bit arrogant when I went in. I had a, I was thinking, oh, what, why are we both doing what? Yeah, I had a bad, 
yeah. I had a bad attitude, I think, going in. So you were both, uh, you were both heavyweights at the time, was you? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Ninety. Ninety-eight was it? Two thousand, yeah. Two thousand, yeah. So it once you got your uh, sorry, funny, yeah. Yeah. So once you got your yeah. pro card, um, you did the Grand Prix in Manchester, didn't you? Oh, I saw. Yeah, I, I, I did that as an amateur. I, that I was there. I was there that yeah. year. I saw Ronnie one year. That was a big yeah. show. That was I, famous. It, yeah. It was. Yeah. Wow. Wow. What what a way to to exit the sport of body for me anyway. Uh, yeah. You know, so how how did you it. feel? How did you feel? Obviously, getting your pro card that year and um. Mm. Going for that show was what was the time frame? Was it was only a few months after, wasn't it? Wasn't long after? Yeah, it was not long. It wasn't long. So you're you're right. Your memory, your memory serves you. I wish my memory served me half as good as yours. Yeah. Um, yeah the grand the grand prix was always sort of uh, October, early October, uh, right, late September. Right. I I think I think I had about six weeks. I so I was able yeah. to relax for one of those six weeks. Yeah. Eat a little more, mm. and then the, the, the remaining four. I wanted. I was a bit off at the Welsh. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and um, yeah, I was a bit off. So, so I you, thought, you, 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 what you had to do to sort of, um, yeah, I thought to to, to remedy being yeah, a bit off. Yeah. I mean, I was. I was up a bit off. Big Gary Lister had a look at me backstage, and Gary's always been really honest. That's what I mm. like about Gary. He's genuine. He's mm. he'll tell you, and he looked at me in the bathroom and said, Steve. And it, it, it cut to the heart. He said, "Steve, I've seen you look harder." And I'm like, mm. That's the, "Yeah, but you know, sometimes these things you need I, to hear these things to get." I had to hear it. Yeah, yeah I had yeah, to yeah. hear it. Yeah. So, um, at the Chemical Grand Prix, it was a it was, a, it was an opportunity for me just to get that condition that mm. that I was missing mm. and compete as a professional bodybuilder. I'm like, yeah, wow. Yeah. Wow, compete in, in the with this, these guys are they're from a different planet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just a, a real. So when, when you were when you were in Manchester, it was at the Apollo Theatre, wasn't it? And you're backstage, right. and you got Roddy Coleman that was there. Uh, Flex oh. Flex Wheeler was there. You got Kevin Lerone, Chris Cormier, mm. uh, Jay Cutler was mm. there. <laughs> How did you feel? Did you think yeah, I don't belong I here, or do you think? <laughs> I remember sitting next to those guys in the bus. I remember Marcus Rule. I'm like. He's taking up three seats. Oh, yeah. Marcus, uh, there was a the Orville Burke. Can you Orville remember? Burke, yeah. Great big white cavicles. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Marcus Orville, Gunther Schleerkamp. Gunther, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a big smile, his wave his shoulders. A great yeah. personality. And I just remember thinking, wow, uh, genetically, bodybuilding. And I went back and told the guys at my gym. I said, bodybuilding is all about genetics. Yes, it is, yeah. These are the elites. I'm just thinking that the good Lord that, that, that you know, I wasn't going to be knocking my head against a brick wall trying to mm. be a, something that I really can't really be. Mm. Um, and also, say si, I just wanted to throw this in. I was a much, much, much better bodybuilder in 1998 because I had I, I got nerve damage. I got a, an op in my spine okay. a few years later. Okay. Um, uh, it was nerve root entrapment I have. So okay. somehow I a nerve root has got trapped between the spine, one of the vertebra, the, the top of the neck, uh, T67, I think it is, mm -hmm. and uh, it's affecting the right hand and yeah, these fingers. And okay. So what was side. that, 98? After 98? 98. It was after 99 it happened. So it affected, that. Do you think it affected your training? Oh, big time. So yeah, I was like, yeah. I was up to like 190 incline. I was getting 10 reps. Come from mm. 190 on the incline, you know, barbell. <laughs> And mm. I remember doing a photo shoot with Grant. I went down south, and it was during that photo shoot. I was still big, but I was I was ready to train the way I usually train, like heavy. And I was always felt okay. I'm going to this gym. I've got all my stuff. I'm prepped, um, and I wanted to go as heavy as I usually go. And I remember warming up with Grant, and we got to two plates, and the bar felt really heavy. Mm. And it was only after that when I came back up to Scotland that I realised I, I couldn't push any weight. I hadn't lost any muscle at that point. Okay. But later, I was like, I was using like 80 kilos. Yeah, so, um, the, yeah, the Grand Prix, um, let's, let's just talk about that experience, um, what it was like competing in, on the same stage as some of the greatest bodybuilders. Wow. Wow. Um, 
I think now, um, you know, 20 years, 22 years on, it's just the, the most precious memories for me. Is that this, I didn't even, you know, pray to pray. I didn't pray and ask God to, you know, uh, the IFBB, but to step on stage with those guys were what was beyond anything I'd ever even prayed for. I know I, I did pray hard to win the Missile mm. Universe. I prayed so hard each, every day. Uh, each day was so hard in 98, in 96 and 97 too. But 98 even more, as I really wanted that badly. Um, thank God I took it in 98 because I wouldn't have gone back to Naba Universe. But yeah, 2000, it's really special because it was my first pro show and my last. Mm. Um, and it's just a great way to to leave the sport of bodybuilding. Um, with Dorian on the, as the MC. Yeah, Dorian was uh, a... Um... Top guys, I mean, a lot mm. of us Brits have experienced, um, you know, being on stage, um, and it's yeah, it must be just as special. I know it is to, to them. Why, why did you decide that was your last pro show? Then was it because um, did you realize standing seeing Wani and Flex, did you realize yeah. these are the elites um, and you can never sort of be that yeah. level? Um, there was a, a couple of different reasons. One would have been because 98 I was much thicker. I was, mm. a, I was I was using heavier weight. Mm. Um, could I have gotten you, back up to that weight? Probably not. I think mm. whatever I was doing with the weights I was using in a small frame, mm. you know, I mean, 190 kilo incline press. But so, do you think going from my, from 98 to, to 2000, your your physique sort of sort yes. of went backwards? In, yes, I, yeah. I, I you know that you wasn't able, you wasn't able to train the way you were supposed to you wanted to train. Yeah, I, I spoke earlier on about Winfred Maldena. Um yes. that the, the the judge um that he he became an Olympian judge uh, towards the end and um he I, I took my video, I made a video in two thousand, it was a video back then, and he watched it and he he told me he said you were a much you were a better bodybuilder in ninety eight. He didn't say what the difference was, how much mm. better, but he did say, so I would take his word. And, and yeah, also, yeah, yeah. looking at my physique in 98, I was like, I, I think I was really had a good combination of thickness and, thickness and cut. And uh, I, I, yeah. So I was, I was definitely a, a better bodybuilder in 98. And I would like to have stood on stage next to those guys then. I'm not saying I would have placed all that much higher yeah, because they were so it good. Be but, more comparable uh, to. But yeah, mm. but possibly so. Si. Um, yeah, and at the same time, I can't really knock the condition that I get into in two thousand because that was yeah, Kerry. Your condition was yeah. very. Uh, yeah. Kerry came up to my my room the night before. Steve Rudolph came up. Paula came up. Paula Rudolph, yeah. Yeah. And they looked at me, and Kerry told me, "He said, Steve, they must have seen I was. They didn't say anything about my size, but they must have noticed I was a bit smaller." Oh, yeah. But the, my condition, Kerry said, Steve, you, you can't overcarb now. He said, mm. eat tomorrow's carbs as well. So yeah, I had like 4,000 uh, calories, four and a half for the following day, prepped, prepared. I ate all those calories yeah, yeah, on that in. day. I had yeah. 9,000 calories the night oh, before. Right. Um, and Kerry was right. I, I mean, I, I still looked rock. I mean, as hard as I had ever looked, I never really mm. had striking looks or anything before. Um, so my condition at that show, I think Ronnie, maybe he was the only guy at that show. I mean, lots of guys were much bigger than me, but yeah. I think only Ronnie was able to, maybe it was, it, Ronnie has better condition, but no one else uh, mm. in the show. So I was happy. Um, and also yeah, to don't, get... Don't a, forget, a lot, a lot of the American guys, they sort of, um, they would do the tour, so flying, doing the Olympia, then doing other tour mm. shows, and flying to, to, fly to uh, UK. Obviously, the water retention, they're gonna come off yeah, the diet. And they're gonna yeah. in. Aye, so, you're aye. in a lucky position where you're just traveling down to Manchester from Scotland. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, with, um, you're, you're right, absolutely. Um, mm. I remember just looking at I was pumping, 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 you know, my wee, my, my wee physique, you know, and like pumping away like forever backstage. I'm like, oh, I was getting sore from pumping up. And I remember looking at big Marcus Rule, and he's just like leaning on a bench. Just like this, and I'm like, oh, he's huge. Yeah, he's so massive. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he needed to pump up, Sai. 
Um, but, but I was like pumping you up too. all the more <laughs> because I, I had to. Yeah, yeah. But it was, it was really exciting. It's like you know. Yeah, really I was. I was there. I was there. I was there backstage of that show because I was. I was oh wow! Well, wow! Well. I was wow. I was the um because they had the the amateur oh. grand prix didn't they so I competed as an amateur that that year. Oh right, sorry. Oh, I remember they did the amateur oh. grand prix. So I did the amateur, oh. uh, two thousand, two thousand and one, and two thousand and three when it was in Wembley. How did you go on at the? At, at that, I think that I, I think to be honest, when the amateur grand prix, they just give it to the to the winner. They didn't place top six, so it was just one winner. So uh, I didn't obviously. Oh, get right. a Aye, but aye. Yeah, it was a good experience. Aye. I think that year I placed fourth or fifth at the British EF, uh, EFPB under 90s. But um, yeah, I was never yeah. your level, but I was sort of, uh, you know, everyone wanted their pro car back then. But it was it was yeah. a good show to do after the British Championships because if you were slightly off the British, you could, you'd have a few more weeks to sort of get in better condition for the, the Grand Prix. Aye, 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 aye. Uh, that's right. Aye, aye. So you can kind of make up for. What, yeah, what and, you, and I remember driving up to. Um, to see Kerry and John Hodgson and you know they just said you need to come in harder you need to you know drop another wow. three or four wow. kilos and yeah and I went to good yeah. advice yeah yeah those guys are hardcore they, they, yeah they yeah they, they <laughs> well, they've right been there isn't it and they, they don't I, I, I mean Kerry was the first person who made me aware I could be ready from the front mm. but when More I turned around the back so, hamstrings. the guys told me oh you're ready you're ready mm. Mm. I knew how from the back I wasn't ready. Yeah, um, that's that's so. that's why I tell a lot of my guys they they, they always show in the rabs, but I said let's look at your lower back, let's look at your hamstrings. Aye, you know, that's aye. where you know you're in condition. Yeah. If if it's the same both sides, then yeah. you know you're you know you're on the right path. Aye, aye. <laughs> yeah, the old kidney test as well, Sai. It, it's quite a good one. That, What's that? It, the kidney test. Oh, you know, at the that? back. You oh know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. right at the back at the kidneys. Yeah. It, I, I think that's a good. That's what I mean. I would hold it there as well. You know, that would be one of the places I would hold it. Um, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you have competed since then, haven't you? Because I remember, so I bumped into you backstage. It was yeah. NABA, England. We're talking about three years ago. Aye, that's aye. the last time. You, but you have, you did the, you did compete mm -hmm. after that, mm -hmm. didn't you? So you did make a few comebacks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, did you miss competing? I mean, what what made you come back? The, yeah, but to be honest with you, I went down a, a bad road with, with mind altering substances, and okay. and it was like a lifeline it thrown at me. So mm. David McGrath threw me a lifeline in two thousand and nine, oh, okay. and I managed to come back and, and win the Miss of Scotland. But looking back, it wasn't it wasn't the Steve Crichton the, the, who was organised and yeah, prepared yeah. and had, you know was meticulous. Mm. I was, I look good, yeah, you know. yeah. um, and then I, I guess I learned a good lesson from that one because I came, I came back again in 2011. David McGrath threw me another lifeline. I remember, yeah, you did the Welsh, um, yeah. didn't you? You did the Welsh, um, the, the oh, Welsh. Aye, right? aye, aye, aye. Uh, I got another lifeline then, and I made the most of that one. I don't think I've dieted so hard in my whole life as I did in, in 2011. I had every time I help someone say, I get blessed. Every mm. time I help someone else, and there was a big lad, Stuart Bateson. Uh, he won the overall at the Mister Scotland. Yeah, he won the overall. Uh, I'd been uh, I'd gone to his gym out in Dumbarton, and a guy who was helping me in recovery at the CA meetings, and Stuart asked me to help him, and and I thought, hmm, I, I thought he was joking. That's how my esteem, my self esteem was. Hmm. And my, 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 the guy who was helping me, the Brian, he said, Steve, I said, that, I think that lad is serious. He, he needs your help. Hmm. I was like, really? Okay, I'll go speak to him. So I went and spoke to Big Stewart and I helped prep Big Stewart. And yeah, he won the overall the Mr. Scotland, but he returned everything. He's an ex army man like myself. Okay, yeah, yeah. And he, 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 he came, he made me train. I've been training consistently with him. And that was that's what I got back from helping Stuart. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, he trained with me. He drove really? me to the Open Wales. He drove me home. Yeah, I was so like, we were talking oh, 11, eleven years aye. ago. I remember. I remember when you made your comeback. Aye. Actually, yeah. Aye, aye. Um, the, the one that I, I made three years ago, Sai, I probably shouldn't have done it. I, really, I, I wasn't. 
That was the Naba over fifties you did, didn't you? Uh, uh, yeah, that was yeah. the Naba over fifties. I had, yeah. I, I didn't know at the time, but I had hepatitis C. Uh, it was okay. long, long term, and my liver was boom. It was, mm-hmm. it was gone. My okay. AST and my ALT were through the roof. Mm-hmm. And fortunately, thank God for the NHS in this country. I got Harvoni, one tablet is like a grand. I got eight weeks of Harvoni, went back a week later after the, the medication. This was after the show. Yeah. And then um, it, it was the, the hep C was gone. But okay. it was a long term thing that I, you know, I, it could have been smoking cocaine, sharing mm-hmm. a, a banknote or, mm-hmm. or a straw or something. Um, mm-hmm. uh, so, I'm not making excuses up. My mind wasn't in that show. I just wanted to glorify God somehow. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I was sick before the show. I went down. I was vomiting. I couldn't carb up, so I was just eating anything. And when I got backstage, I, I landed backstage and I looked at the guys and I thought, oh, I hadn't taken my clothes off, side and I thought, I shouldn't be here. So I was a kind of half hearted. Entrance yeah, yeah. to the stage, and I kind of knew that, but I've got I don't really regret it too much. So I'm just no. glad that I've got, so that, was after seven, that was after a seven year gap, wasn't it? Not competing. Aye, aye, did, how aye, did you train? Aye. How did you train up to your last show? Was it sort of same training as previous? I mean, as we get well, older, we can't train as intense aye, as heavy. So you have well, to nowadays, and, nowadays, si, for, for that show, I really. Uh, I didn't know a whole lot different. I just know that, you know, obviously my, the, my, my body wasn't able to cope Respond with what doing that show at yeah. all. Uh, and I'm so glad the doctor diagnosed mm. took all my bloods and I got mm. the medication and now my liver's healthy because I, I, yeah. I discovered when I was Googling it online and right away, it was like people can get hepatitis C and die. They have liver cancer and yeah. liver failure and death. And before the, it's even diagnosed, fortunately, I was getting pains down my right hand side, some stabbing pains. And the doctor, my doctor, who I was seeing as a bodybuilding enthusiast, and he, he got loads of bloods sent off. And he called me the next day and said, Stephen, I found the problem. You've got hepatitis C. He mm-hmm. knew it was long term. Um, I had it for a long time, it, it was like through the roof. And yeah, thank God I've, I've got, I took medication and. I've got yeah. my health back, Si. It's, it's, Good, that's yeah, the main I thing. Think. Your health is your wealth, isn't it? Definitely, like, yeah. And it's not until you get into your later years you sort of realise how yeah how important mm. that is. Because when we're younger in our 20s, 30s, you, you think you can go on forever in this sport. Mm. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, you sort of, um, the more we abuse our bodies, we pay for it long term. Yeah. So aye. is that your last show? Two, was that 2019, wasn't it? So yeah, no more right, shows for you? Yeah. You're, you're retired now fully? Yeah, I'm going to be 60 very soon, so si, and okay. uh, I, I just want to, like, I, I feel like if I'm writing the last chapter of my own life, I want to be writing it with um, my creator. I want to be, mm. you know, um, I'm not sure if you're going to edit this or not, but it doesn't matter. The no, Bible no. says, prepare to meet thy God. And mm. I just want to um, just walk with God um, until I go meet him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you doing um, a lot of sort of um, stuff on uh, Facebook. Uh, I try. So, yeah, so yeah, my, yeah. my heart is 100% of giving God my heart. And I just want to lead myself because mm-hmm. if I don't lead myself by being an example and in my own life, then I cannot I can't lead anyone else either. So I'm leading myself first. Um so yeah I'm I'm living differently now so I am uh I think, yeah. we, I think we have to we have to evolve we have to change and adapt adapt to sort of hmm. time right. don't we we can't live <laughs> people have to change. All right we can't yeah, yeah. So um, we're wrapping up. So, what, what do you do? You follow bodybuilding nowadays? Um, I mean, before. you know, the, the the phone is sometimes you know if I watch one thing uh, on yeah, YouTube, yeah. then it comes up with more suggestions, yeah, and yeah, I, it's, it's, I may yeah. see something that looks attractive, and yeah, uh, yeah, again, yeah. I'll I'll watch, but I don't. I, I can't say I really follow. Uh, no, no. 
no, no. I mean, sometimes I might get into a wee something if I've got some spare time and I'll watch yeah. a wee video or a wee mm. clipping, but I don't follow the amateurs or the pros. Yeah. It's, it's just, um, yeah. What about, what about your own training now? You're still training, you're still managing to... Um... I, um, I, it's a different ball game, but um, I'm just... It's a challenge for yeah. me as well, Si, but it's good to go into the gym and know that I'm just in there on my own strength. So there's no more... Just you find it hard to sort of... Yeah. Go, yeah. You know, obviously you're used to training a certain way, you know, balls to wall, high intensity. Do you, do you find it hard to sort of pull back from training and not train like that? <laughs> It took me a while to yeah, sort of I, I, you know You're right, Sai. A- anything that I've ever done, whatever mm. it may have done it to excess. Excess, yeah, yeah. Excess. So yeah. I, I recently adopted this Rick Valenti. I had watched uh, randomly. He had liked one of my posts, and I, I checked it out a bit more, and I was like, wow, Rick, 65. Yeah, and he's doing, he, looks, he looks amazing, Sai. Yeah. He looks awesome. So he's training over at uh, Goshen in Venice, California, and I, I watched some of his uh, clippings. And I'm like, "Wow, this guy's 65 and he still looks amazing." Mm. Uh, so you know, come on, you're still a youth, Stephen. You're only you know 59. You're not 60 yeah. yet. Um, so that that's that's motivating me. But I'm being realistic about um, how I can look. But more important than how I look is it like my cardiovascular fitness. Yeah, your functional um, fitness. My, my health, my mental yeah, health. Yeah. My emotional health a physical yeah. health and it you know, doesn't well, think what, what to sort of um detach yourself from how you used to look i mean it is aye, hard it is, you, you know your yeah. your identity is your your physique yeah. and once, <laughs> once that sort of goes <laughs> it's, it's hard but i think that's a hard aye. thing for a lot of bodybuilders to sort of hmm. move on to don't you think aye. yeah i think there's a, a transition there that can yeah. be quite difficult because your whole identity um would be could be attached to how you exactly. look exactly and yeah. i know i've myself i've felt my own self-esteem has sometimes been affected because that's been my whole identity so you you just want you you know you want this look and that's part of who you are um but i'm i'm so glad that i've moved uh past that and now it's like yeah, yeah. i'm Oops. gonna put a little i'm gonna put a little video yeah. on here now uh steve yeah. So just just to sort of uh, show <laughs> show people, show the audience yeah. how great you looked. Yeah. This is ninety seven, I think. The Nabi universe. Seven, yes, yeah. So, well, yeah, that, so yeah. this yeah. twenty five years ago. Mm, wow. Do, do you ever watch? Yeah. Go back and watch videos yourself. Um, uh, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I remember my daughter was a year old and. I was playing this music and I started, I was sitting on the floor with her and she liked this song. We started, we had our first wee dance when she was 12 months old to this this music. She liked it. Yeah, maybe she heard it and yeah. Yeah, look at that, look at that condition. You don't see that nowadays. That's, mm. Uh, mm. yeah. Aye, aye. One, one of the greats, oh, one of the greats. Oh. Yeah, so, um, okay, so Steve, yeah. I'm going to wrap it up now because uh, we've took nearly an hour and a half of your time. So, wow, well, that's a long time. We did so have a few hiccups in there and then, yeah. But, um, yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you for coming on. Uh, I would love to get you back on another time. I know you've been training a long time. We've, got, we've only probably just scratched the surface of what you've mm. achieved, and yeah. I'm sure you've got lots of stories uh, from back in the day and people that you've trained with and... Oh. I'd like to talk about other, other shows that you've done and how you sort of prep for them. Uh, if you, if you know, if you're willing to come back on another day, it'd be great to have you on. Yeah, I'm willing to come on. Uh, yeah, again, Sai, it's been a real pleasure. You've been a real yeah, gentleman. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank wasn't you. Too, wasn't too wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> it was it was great, Sai. I've, yeah. I've really got I enjoyed it. I'd like to find out more about your own story, though. I don't yeah, know, yeah, we'll, we'll do yeah. that another time. But I, I yeah. created a list of uh, bodybuilders that I wanted on my podcast. And you were sort of up there on the top, you know, because um, I have seen you compete numerous times. And mm, when I was yeah. coming up as a, a 90 kilo bodybuilder, you were, you, were, you were the man, you were Grant Thomas, you were mm. the guys that we used to look up to and, oh, wow. you know, wow. Um, wow. inspired me. Thank, massively. Thanks, Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah. 
Okay, Thanks. Steve. So yeah. I'll, it's uh, it's nine o'clock now. It's getting late. So I'll let you crack on yeah. with your, your night. Uh, appreciate, really appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, I'll put all your links in the description. People want to contact you on Facebook, etc. But yeah, brilliant. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Wow. Wow.